Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Amari, also known as Soul Style Beauty, and today I'm going to be filming a mini Sephora haul. So, if you are into beauty and all of that stuff, I know that you guys know that Sephora just had their VIB sale. So, VIB members got 15% off, and if you are VIB Rouge, you're so lucky. You got 20% off. But I only got 15%. But I'm like, you know what? A sale is a sale at the end of the day. So I got five items. I did not go crazy. So this is my little box. I just got it in today. And I was just like, you know what? Why don't you film a whole video? So I'm going to tell you all about these items and my reasoning as to why I purchased them. And, you know, all about the products. So stay tuned. Okay, so the very first thing that I purchased is this Anastasia Beverly Hills lip gloss in the shade Kirsten. Is it Kirsten or Kirsten? Let me see. I'm going to check my emails before I say the wrong thing. So it's called Kristen. Um, this retails for $16. My favorite um, ABH lip gloss is actually Sepia, but I was like, you know what, try something different. So we're actually gonna try this together <laughs> and to see um, to see if I really like this. really cute it's more pinky than what I really want it to be for like an everyday type gloss but I love the color I just think for everyday it's like really pinky I don't know maybe I'm bugging out um but I do like it a lot I'm gonna swatch it so you also see how it looks okay so the next item I got was the Anastasia Beverly Hills powder bronzer in mahogany um, and this is also like a first time buy. I think I was watching like one of Jackie Ina's like live or something like that. And I saw her use this and I, I'm assuming it was this shade because all the other shades was too light. Um, but, wait a minute, this looks a little, hold up. Cause that shade, okay, cool. Um, ooh, so it has like a little mirror and this is exactly how the bronzer looks. So I don't know, I saw Jackie Ina use it. She made me <laughs> want to purchase this. Um, and I was just honestly looking for a new bronzer. I'm using my Ebony Bronze, but I don't know. I feel like now it's too red. I don't know, in the summertime it was more, it was working, now it's not working. So I'm like, hmm, let me try something new. So I'm excited to see how this is gonna show up. I don't know, I have a small powder brush. I feel like I'm definitely going to have to see this in action. Like, so I'm gonna try this tomorrow, like on fresh makeup. I'm not gonna use like anything because right now I'm like trying to put this on top of product so it doesn't really show how the product shows up. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna try this tomorrow. All right, so the next product that I've gotten, all my other products are skincare. You know, I'm like 28, y'all. So I feel like I'm almost gonna be 30 years old. I need to get my life when it comes to skincare. Um, so I got this Ola Henriksen True Serum. And what I really, like my skincare concerns is just that my face is not one skin tone. And sometimes it can look very dull. You know, I'm a teacher, so these kids, like, I be stressed, y'all. I be stressed. So, anyways, uh, one thing that I do like to spend a lot of money on is skincare. So, I looked up this Ole Henriksen serum. All, almost all the ratings were amazing for this product. So, a lot of people were saying that it hydrated their skin, it evened out their skin tone, it brightened their skin tone. So, I'm like, you know what? Let me give this a try. So, this little mini bottle, I believe it was like only $22. I know. I'm like, only $22 for this. Um, but I'm assuming that it will last a long time. I don't know. We have to see. But yeah, this small container was $22. I believe the big one is $73. And I was not going broke over this, okay? <laughs> so I'm like, you know what, let me, let me at least try the $22 serum. And if I like it, I might splurge. But at least I have the option to like, you know, try it out before spending that money. So the next two products is by Dermalogica. Um, I really don't know about the, this brand, but it got really good reviews, once again, on Sephora. And one thing that I'm really looking for as far as cleansers for my skin is that they don't have any chemicals. Um, so I know that Dermalogica is like a vegan brand. So um, I'm excited to try both of these products. So this is the Intensive Moisture Cleanser. Um, so yeah, it's just like a moisturizing daily cleanser. And I felt like I was using the Sunday Riley Cleanser. 
but it didn't really lather so i don't i don't know if it was like really cleansing my face i don't know and maybe that's because it did it was also like a vegan product i don't know but i was just like let me just give something else a try like i really like the sunday riley one but like i'm still looking for love so maybe it might be the dermalogica i don't know um so lastly i got this dermalogica daily microfoliant um i noticed that some of the toners that i use like it causes my skin to um my skin my skin has been peeling and i don't have an exfoliator um that i use so i'm looking for i was looking for a new exfoliator i know when i used to exfoliate like hard i used to use um the pixie peeling polish or the saint eyes back in the day that apricot scrub let me know if you know what i'm talking about but i just wanted something you know different so i was like you know what let me go with the same brand um and see how it works out so yeah that's all i really got y'all from the safari vip y'all and this cost like i think like 105 was like my total so I didn't splurge at all, but at the same time, I really got a lot of products like skincare that I wanted to try. I got a new lip gloss, I got a new bronzer. Like these are things that I kind of needed, in my opinion. But anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed um, what I got. I will leave everything down below in the description bar for you guys to see, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, y'all.